greed. It is the bane of all technologically advanced races that dwell throughout this myriad of universes. No matter the size, shape or colour, greed is constant. It is this greed that slaughters cities, creates chaos, leads one Kerbal to deceive others. It is this greed that is always teaching species a lesson, but never gives them chance to learn from it. It is also this greed that leaves a deafening silence in its wake. Kerbals are like a virus. They move to an area and build and build until every natural resource is consumed. And the only way they can continue is to spread to another area. In the pursuit of power and status, those with the funds to do so constructed a tourism infrastructure in the far reaches of their solar system. Yet, with no Kerbals willing to spend years in microgravity, and without the incentive to develop artificial gravity to its potential, they couldn't turn a profit. And so the jewel system was abandoned, without warning. Those crew members left to fend for themselves slowly ran out of food or died drinking the Kethane from the all but exhausted fuel reserves. The silence reigns supreme now. Even so, the inevitable progression of time, coupled with the constant presence of greed, causes history to repeat itself. New Kerbals come, with their new visions, and more Kerbals are deceived into becoming a part of the spread. A process doomed only to terminate with the extinction of the species itself. This being the case, what, do you imagine, would be the last run in the cycle? What ungodly project would be the last to perform before the final act ends and the curtains draw to a close. Would it be a testament to the ingenuity of Kerbal Kind, or a demonstration of their naivety? Would it be an ultimate pooling of all the Kerbal Space Program's accumulated assets into one shining beacon of triumph to resound throughout the world, or a slow descent into tragedy? Or, perhaps, would it defy the work of greed and be all of these things? An escape? From the corruption of time and idleness that leads Kerbals to a better way of life, beyond this solar system and out into the immeasurable, inky blackness of space? I think... I think I want to find out.